In the Perm region, Fighters of Freedom of Russia Legion burned several pieces of military equipment at the airfield of the Russian Defense Ministry. While Ukrainian drones and artillery destroy equipment on the battlefield, Free Russian Legion acted and burned several pieces of military equipment of Russia. Recall, a trio of Russian volunteer groups fighting on behalf of Ukraine. One of them is Freedom of Russia Legion. Three armed groups, the Freedom of Russia Legion, Russian Volunteer Corps and Siberian Battalion, launched a cross-border assault from Ukraine into Russia in this march. Moscow calls them Ukrainian terrorist formations. None of the anti-Kremlin Russian militias will offer actual numbers of men fighting under their colors on grounds of wartime secrecy. They would also fall foul of Ukrainian military rules if they did so, and as formally enlisted soldiers in Ukraine's International Legion they're required to abide by the rules governing classified information. The raids have earned the Freedom of Russia Legion the hatred of their foes. The Freedom of Russia Legion is being hunted by the Russian military, which is keen to identify the militia's bases and in order to reduce the chances of being directed by missiles or drones, Freedom of Russia Legion units are dispersed when on Ukrainian soil, only coming together for big raids. The families of Freedom of Russia Legion members who are still in Russia are harassed and threatened by the FSB intelligence agency to try to extract information from them. And a new Russian law allows authorities to expropriate the property of anyone declared terrorists, a designation that would include Freedom of Russia Legion members.